everyone, Manny Ortiz here, and today we are doing the ultimate portrait lens comparison with Kayla. <laughs> Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. Use the coupon code Manny, you get 10% off. Hey, everyone, so today I'm shooting with four of my favorite portrait focal lengths the 85 millimeter G Master f1.4, the 105 1.4 from Sigma, which is right here. I got the... <laughs> I thought it was... No, it's not that one. No, it's the 85. Keep going. And then we got the 135 millimeter Sigma and the 70 to 200 2.8 G Master. First up, 85 millimeter. All right, so make sure you stay to the end of the video where I show you all the shots back to back and you can really see the differences between these shots. Now, this is the 85 1.4. This is my favorite lens and I mean, it has some really good output. I love the working distance of the 85 millimeter. I've said that about a hundred times in all my videos. Uh, I'm taking a head shot, a waist up shot and a full body shot. You're gonna notice in the full body shots the least amount of difference uh, when it comes to all the lenses. All right, the next lens is the 105 millimeter f1.4. This one things start to get interesting. Look at look at that background though. Like the 105, when I reviewed it, I was blown away at the 3D pop that it gave me at that focal length. I never really shot with a 105, but the 105 is like the best of both worlds between the 135 and the 85 because it's like I can still be close to you enough where I can communicate with you, but I get that 3D pop that the 135 gives me that I really love about the 135 so yeah 105 is definitely a sweet spot I just wish the lens wasn't so damn big next up is the 135 millimeter Sigma 1.8 here's the 135 Sigma that I reviewed uh, ironically with Kayla and look at that again look at that 3d pop that you get with the 135 1.8 I know that's not the only thing to be looking at but um, and also the compression as well you can notice that it really the 135 really brings in that background uh, that's another great great thing about having a lens like this the 135 millimeter But it does have amazing 3d pop if that's if that's what you're into. All right The last lens is the 70 to 200 G master by Sony All right So the 70 to, so this is 200 millimeter notice that the background isn't as blurry as the other ones But I do like I do prefer the rendering of the face at 200 millimeter the most I, I love the way it compresses uh, a person's face and their features so definitely i mean this this lens to me isn't about background blur it's more about the 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 perspective look at all the trees look at the cluster of trees behind her that's because you're so far back and you're really bringing in that background with the lens compression so now this is when we see all the pictures back to back so you can really see the difference this is the 85 and the 105 and you notice look at that background just melts away so if bokeh is your thing, the 105 and the 135, you are not going to be disappointed because you're going to get the most bokeh with uh, the 105 and 135 millimeter. Again, the 200 millimeter does give me the best rendering of the face, in my opinion. So here are the waist up shots. This is when you really see the difference. Look at the 85 to 105. Woo! See that 3D pop? I mean, the background just, just turns into water paint. It's crazy. Uh, the 135 um, here doesn't look as much as bokehlicious as the other one, but remember the perspective changes. There's more trees in the background. So here are the full body shots, and for the most part, they all look pretty much the same. And you'll just see the, the trees get closer to her, and you'll see more trees in the frame because, I'm, like I said, the longer the focal length, the more you bring into the background. Now, when looking at all these lenses all together, I think that the 105 shocked me the most in terms of performance. I think that the performance of the 105 is almost flawless I, after I reviewed it and looking at these shots here. The problem is that the lens is super huge and super heavy, and that is the reason why I'm not going to own it. So I'm going to stick with my 85. I like the working distance of an 85, but that 135 millimeter might end up in my bag at some point because uh, if I do want that really that 3d pop i probably reach for that 135 so um what do you guys think which lens looked the best to you let me know down below in the comment section i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and uh oh there she is okay baby we'll, we'll fix it right now that's the cue to go right peace